This is literally as glam as it's going to get. Today, I wanted to sit down. I recently went on a trip to Dallas. It was so fun, literally ate my way through Dallas with some really good friends. And this is what I brought. I basically just took my carry on on the airplane because it was an, a one night trip. I kept things really simple and I thought I'd share with you exactly what I brought and just apply it as I go. In case you know, you're looking for some suggestions while you're traveling. First things first, I have my SPF. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I really love this stuff. It's just a great clear formula. It's a good primer. It's really hydrating. I could see this working for both oily or dry skin. So I went to the, I don't know, it's not a dermatologist, but, and she's not even an esthetician. She's a medical doctor that has decided to go into more of the medical aesthetics. So like needles, Botox, chemical peels, things like that. And she told me I actually have oily cheeks and a dry T-zone, which is so crazy to me but it makes sense because my cheeks have been breaking out for months and months now and i'm finally getting it under control so would that make it i have combination skin but my skin's still really dry so the only product i brought for foundation is this tinted face oil by kosas i really like the brand kosas because it's a clean brand it's a clean brand you know you don't have to worry about a number of ingredients that could be irritating your skin and this is something i don't use often and so i was like you know what i want to try that out just bring it i like to either bring like my holy grails while traveling or if it's not super important if i don't know how my face will necessarily turn out throughout the day then i like to bring something i'm experimenting with this i've tried a couple times and i really like it because you, i just use my hands so that helps save me a brush And it blends out really well. This I wouldn't say is super long wearing, but it's really easy to use. And I'm in the shade number five. That blended out really fast, really easily. And then I brought two concealers, which is kind of crazy that I brought two, but I brought the Rare Beauty Brightening Concealer and I'm in the shade 210N, as well as the Hourglass Concealer in a Beach. I'm gonna use the Hourglass because it's been, it's been a while since I've used this stuff. Did you guys shop the Sephora sale? I I think this is the first time I didn't go too crazy with the Sephora sale. Nuts, right? I mean, I do have some regrets. I wish I had picked up the Patrick Ta sculpted palette with like the bronzer and the cream bronzer and then the powder bronzer duo. And then I'm using this brush. This is the It Cosmetics. What brush is this? Airbrush Complexion Perfection Brush. One of my favorite brush lines is it cosmetics just really high quality brushes that are going to last you years this concealer is very close to my skin shade already so we're not gonna have any kind of crazy brightening effect i want to know what you cannot travel without like what is that one product that you have to have okay next is setting powder so this is the kosas feathery cloud set i love this stuff this is such a great option for dry skin normal skin, combination skin, oily skin. It's talc free, but it leaves the most beautiful, it like blurs, but doesn't leave everything too cakey. It has immediately become one of my favorite setting powders. And they have different shades, which I appreciate as well. So I brought this little brush. This is the powder detail brush by Makeup by Mario. Don't, they don't sell it anymore, but I'll have something similar linked. And then I brought this bigger, fluffier brush by Real Techniques. Techniques. This is called the blush brush. And I just use that to kind of lightly set anywhere that I'm going to be blending out. Then I only brought one bronzer, but oh, it's just one of my tried and trues, and it's the Fenty Beauty Island Ting Sunstalker bronzer. So many shades, obsessed with this stuff. And I brought this little brush. It's a cheek brush by Makeup by Mario, but kind of like any dome shaped brush that I felt like I could use this for the bronzer and I could use it for blush. So, you know, double whammy there. Do you guys do your makeup when you go on a trip? The first day I got in, I didn't because I left so early. I, I think I woke up at four. I didn't get in until, I don't know, 10. And then by that time, it's like, eh, no point in doing my makeup because we didn't really have a lot of downtime. We went 
and ate brunch and then just explored the city, which Dallas is definitely one of my favorite cities. Um, granted, we went there when it wasn't super, super hot, but it was just so fun. The food was great, the scenery, the people were so nice. It was so fun. And then one day we went to Denton, Texas, which is, I think it's a little north of Dallas. And, oh my gosh. And we went to Bucky's. Have you guys heard of Bucky's? It's like the most massive gas station I've ever seen in my entire life, but it was awesome. Like anything you could ever think of to buy was there, like the jerky, candy, it was so cool. I wish that they had one here in Colorado. All right, so I took my bronzer in my crease per usual, as well as just kind of contoured my nose. And I wanted to browse to kind of make things look more put together. And this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I highly recommend using a brow pencil when you're traveling. It just makes, it's just way quicker than using like a pomade or a powder or anything like that. And there is a great drugstore option that I am obsessed with and it's the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. And I really miss that one. I need to pick some up, but. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to My brows, this is a step I could have totally skipped and it's the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I could have left this at home, but I really wanted to bring it. And this is the tinted shade and then I brought this little milk makeup hydro grip set and refresh spray. I highly recommend having like one setting mist that's in travel size. That way when you are going to travel, it's not this huge thing like, oh my gosh, I need my setting mist, but I can't bring it on the airplane because I'm just trying to bring a carry on. Granted, if you don't have a, if you're not just bringing a carry on, then you know, your options are, you got more options. But in my opinion, the less luggage you have to bring around with you, the better. It just, you know, we went to Hawaii one year and we overpacked. It was our first time like really taking a big travel vacation with two kids. And oh my gosh, did we overpack. And I just remember lugging everything around the airport, even after just like getting it all checked in and then they take it, but it's just a lot of work. I brought the Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow in, gosh, it drives me insane. Oh, Bloom Time. I'm like, they don't ever put the shade on here to just add just a nice little glow. For blush, I just wanted to bring something really fun and easy, and that's my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Bliss. I need a mirror. I keep putting my mirror down, and I don't know what I'm thinking. I need a mirror to film, right? And I just like to take this stuff. It can be a little scary to use, but don't be scared. It's just fun. Ooh, two little dollops. These are kind of thicker dollops, so I'm just going to take some of that, actually, and move it on this side. And then just kind of just like lightly blend that out and it looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed. This is the matte version, but she also has dewy versions. I just like to put it in a couple different places to create like a more monochromatic look. Love that. And then of course on my lids as well. My son came and took my, my little stand away. But in the meantime, I did my mascara, which is a L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. It's great. And then lip product that I'll probably put on later today that I brought with me was the Fenty Beauty Gloss in the shade Fussy. I love this stuff. Really shiny, plumping, but not sticky at all. It's amazing. Anyway, that's what I brought with me. And I will link the bags as well. I love these bags by Allie Glein. She's another YouTuber that it's just amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. We have company in town this week. And so I'm going to get on my regular filming schedule, but hopefully you enjoyed this really quick 
little tutorial. Bye. Honestly, I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side. I still see.